Hi, this is Chris in the MathCAD Education Program at PTC in Needham. And I'm going to talk today about how to do better homework in your high school algebra or pre-calculus classes, or even calculus, using MathCAD. You see in front of you MathCAD, um, and at first glance it looks a lot like a word processor, which it very much is. Um, it really is a document processor for doing work that is quantitative in nature, mathematics, science, statistics. This is the type of software that engineers often use, or scientists, to put together final reports of their research, their analysis, their labs, so that it's in a good form that's readable and usable by others in their profession. And I'm going to show you how you can begin to learn how to do that type of work within the context of your math classes, because we think it's important. Right. It looks like a word processor, and if you want to do text, the simplest way to do that in MathCAD is to begin by hitting the quote key. So I'll hit shift quote and I'm going to get a text box and perhaps problem one on my homework says solve this system of equations. Now I'm going to go below and I'm actually going to type the system. Notice that I've typed text so far, MathCAD reads text and equations as separate types. And if I start by typing a number, actually if I start by typing anything, MathCAD believes from the beginning that you are giving it uh, a mathematical statement. So I've typed 5 asterisk x, five, 5 times x plus 3 times y. And now I'm going to use something called a Boolean equal sign. So let me go up to the view menu. I'm going to pull down a Boolean toolbar. Right Here it is. It appears over here. And I can drag it in. There it is. And let me just label it. Boolean toolbar, so that we remember what that is when I refer to it later. This is the Boolean equal sign, which in MathCAD means essentially is the same as. Right, and you have other Boolean equal sign, Boolean signs, Boolean operators. So when I hit that, I could also hit Control equal, uh, as it says there. Um, this is now not going to be evaluated. This is a different type of equality symbol in MathCAD. And then I'll type my second equation, 2x minus 6y. I'll use my Boolean equal sign again, 50. And now I'm going to align these up. There we are. I select all three. And I'm going to use this tool, which says align down. And now they're all aligned. Right? Now I look at these two equations. And say I want to think about my strategy first. So let me make a note to myself. Um, in this system, the coefficients of y are multiples of 3. So I am going to use the elimination method. I will begin by multiplying the first equation by 2. All right. Adjust this a little bit, and I will drag this over so it's in. All right now we have. Um, here's my idea for what I'm going to do. I've left. I right-clicked on that. I'm going to select properties, and I'm going to highlight it, maybe in yellow, just to remind me of what my strategy is here. So now I'm going to show all my work using the Boolean equal sign, and this is a nice feature of MathCAD for algebra students because it allows you to do the types of things that math, te math teachers like me, I, I was an algebra teacher for a very long time, um, always want you to do. So here is the idea that I had. I'm going to do this multiplication. So I end up with 10x plus, ooh, I hit the equal sign, 10x plus 6y. And now I'm going to use my Boolean equal sign again, negative 2, 
Notice how it's lining up right down the page, which is quite, a ni quite nice. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my second equation, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it right here. Oops. Didn't copy the whole equation. Just copied y. Copy, paste. There we are. MathCAD is a very forgiving way to work. Let's see. Let's line all these up just so we're really comfortable with what we're doing. And now when I add, I'm going to get 12x plus 0y equals 48, if my thinking is correct. So let me write that down just to show all of the steps. I've hit Control equal this time to get the Boolean equal sign. Now I know that 12x is the same as 48. Mm -hmm. So in looking at it, I think that my result for x is going to be 4. But let me check it out. I said before we're using the Boolean equal sign. Now we'll use the regular equal sign. And here's how. I'm going to hit 48 slash for division sign 12. And now I'm just going to hit the equal sign, not the Boolean equal or control equal. So just equal. And MathCAD evaluates the result for me. The equal sign evaluates expressions in MathCAD. And so here's my result that I've used to come up with the answer. This is now being evaluated. So let's change its color. All right, let's change this to orange, just so we know that MathCAD is doing the thinking here. This is all my thinking, and this is MathCAD's. So now my statement here is, um, let's see, x is a sign 4. All right. So now I have the x result. And what do I do with that? Then. All right, I found that x equals 4. Now I am going to plug x equals 4 into the other equation to solve for the value of y. So I want to be as specific as I can be, right? So if I take the other equation, Let's just copy it again, copy the whole equation. C, control V to copy. Now I know x, 2 times 4 minus 6y, Boolean equals sign 50, All right? So I have 8 minus 6y is 50. All right. Got a little bit offline, but that's easy to fix. Now, I'm going to subtract 8 from each side. So I'm going to end up moving a little bit quickly through this. Uh, is equal to 42. I know, once again, now I'm going to divide. I get negative 7. And now my result is negative 7. All right. Now I'm going to use a different type of operator. Let me just make this orange. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to color code things as I'm going through if they're different types of things. Here, I'm using a Boolean equal sign. Here, I'm using a regular equal sign. And now I can use an equal sign as an operator. If I hit x colon, I get colon equal. I can assign the value of 4 to x. And I can assign y colon the value of negative 7 to y. And then I can type these expressions, 5x plus 3y, and hit equals, which will evaluate the expression and see if I get negative 1. And 2x minus 6y equals, and it will evaluate the expression and see if I get 50. So here's my check, essentially. Oops, my check. Let's do, uh, make that an annotation, just to be brief. My check. So now let's type the expressions. 5x plus 3y equals negative 1. That's good. And 2x minus 6y equals 50. Also good. So there we are. All right. So that shows some of the features of doing better homework with MathCAD. All right. You can type and format your work quite easily. You can include explanations right alongside your work. 
MathCat has live math capability that helps you to check the accuracy of your, of your work and to do calculations, just like a calculator would. And when you're done, all required parts of the solution are right there in front of you on the page within the same document. Have a great day and good luck with your homework.